Today's review is BEAM Vegan Protein. BEAM stands for Be Amazing. This company is headed by the guys at Campus Protein. Russell, Tarun, the flavor god, and also the man, the myth, the legend, Mike Udell. It's an incredible backstory which Price Plow covered in depth where Mike went through his battle with cancer and why he came up with the name Beam to signify and start this supplement company. Now, they started off with four products. The vegan protein, which you see here, a whey protein isolate, a collagen product, and a pre-workout. Today, I'll be reviewing the blueberry muffin. They also have a chocolate flavor as well in the vegan lineup. But after seeing my buddy Shane from Stack say this is the best vegan protein on the market, it kind of caught my attention. So I said to myself, okay, I'm gonna buy a tub and I'm gonna really put it to the test. I'm a big fan of Nutrix. I'm a big fan of Ghost Vegan Protein because Nutrix as well uses what's called here the smooth protein. I think that's a trademark ingredient by um, Compound Solutions. No, Clean Cream, which is by Compound Solutions. Excuse me. And the smooth protein. Those are the two main ingredients that are unique with this product and differentiate it from all the other vegan proteins on the market. There's no other vegan protein that utilizes that. You get pea protein, you get pumpkin seed protein, and you get, I think it's mung bean protein. Yes, mung bean protein, which is also the smooth protein in there. You get blueberry and apple fiber, and then you also get, like I told you, the clean cream. Now, you're probably thinking, what the hell does that mean? Well, this was included because it is meant to give you a proper mouthfeel, a great aftertaste, and a unique flavor. As most of you know, fruity flavors can be very hit or miss on the market. It's either they taste pretty decent or they're so artificial you just don't even want to try them anymore. I put my faith in Tarun the Flavor God. I went with Blueberry Muffin. He said it's the best blueberry muffin on the market. Shane said it's the best blueberry muffin on the market. So here I am, buying a tub, putting it to the test. Now that we know a little bit more, ingredient profile is right there. 100 calories a scoop. You get 0.5 grams of fat, 3 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. One unique feature about the mung bean protein, it's very high in bioavailability and also very high in leucine content. That is usually a weak point for vegan proteins. Usually they're a little bit lower on the amount of leucine and branch chains you get per serving. This helps raise that up a little bit more to make it more comparable to, you know, whey protein, whey protein blend, whey isolate, as far as the amount of branch chains you're getting. So... They're trying to give you a very good product, but also unique with the clean cream and the smooth protein. So here we go. One scoop. You can see it looks a little bit on the thicker side. All vegan proteins are like that just due to the makeup. So if you've never had a vegan protein before, they're usually a little bit on the chalky side, uh, a little bit thicker in texture just due to the uh, makeup of the formula. But overall, I'm really excited for this one. So boom, right here. I use about eight to 10 ounces. Again, it mixes a little bit thicker. So if you do like a normal four to six for a whey, it may come out really thick. I'm gonna play it on the safe side. Mixability wise, as you can see, no debris, no clumps, very clean there. I would hope so with the clean cream. So here we go. So things I'm looking for, good mouthfeel, good taste, and Unique flavor, boom. All right, flavor god, I'm putting you to the test, Tarun. You've never let me down with a fuel flavor? Blueberry muffin. Okay, so I won't lie to you. You will get a little bit of that chalky flavor in the initial taste. That is across the board with all vegan proteins. It's nothing you can do about it. It's just how they're made. I will say this though, most blueberry muffins on the market, the ratio of both flavors are so hit or miss. It's either very high in muffin, very high in blueberry, vice versa. One's higher, one's lower. These complement each other in a 50-50 ratio. That's exactly what you wanna look for when you read that on a label. You don't want a very heavy blueberry, minimal muffin, or vice versa. So Beam did a very good job with that. The second thing, is even though you taste a little bit of that grittiness on the initial aftertaste, the smooth amount of flavor you get in the back end is where that clean cream and the smooth protein comes into aspect. This isn't like any other vegan protein I've tried as far as the mouthfeel goes. It definitely is different. 
I personally like it. It kind of resembles more of a whey protein instead of a very thick, chalky vegan protein, which you may find from companies. But Bean found a way to cover that up and make this a very enjoyable experience. Now, if you are a vegan protein connoisseur, and if you were to ask me, Bob, would you just give this a try? Absolutely. You know, I would put this right up there, right towards the top as far as flavor goes. Um, I haven't tried the chocolate brownie. I've only tried this one flavor. So it's really hard for me to say if this is the overall best I've had because other companies such as Nutrix has three flavors. Ghost has, I think, four now because they just released chocolate cereal milk, which I'll be reviewing here shortly. But overall, first experience, very happy with this. Great mouthfeel, great aftertaste, unique flavor, blueberries on point. The chalkiness is definitely covered up. Tarun, phenomenal job. Hats off to you guys, Mike and Russ. You guys want to pick this up? I do have a 10% uh, off coupon code that Mike made for me. It is amazing, YT10. I will put that in the comment box below for you and an order link to the You Can Beam website so you can check out a little bit more about the backstory and also on the products. But for those who like vegan proteins, this is a must pick up. You must pick this up. Taste is gone point. Wouldn't expect anything less from Tarun. If you guys give it a whirl, hit me a comment below.